Hello, this is Liz from Loom Girls, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the hula hoop bracelet. The, you might see um, bracelets that have hoops of this, but this is a totally original design made by me a while ago. So, today I'm going to be using 17 whites and 13 blacks. I'm using my Crazy Loom because if you guys haven't seen my other videos, uh, if I need the Rainbow Loom, then I use the Rainbow Loom. But if I don't, then I uh, use the Crazy Loom. So today I'm uh, just going to be using the Crazy Loom in the staggered position. And so you're going to start off um, with the tap end facing towards you. And you're going to take one white and place it like that. And this is basically a single chain. Um, and so that's why you take in one more white and put it like this. And you're going to take your third white and put it like this. Then, this is where the blacks come in. You're going to take one black and just drop it on there, like so. Then you're going to take your white, place it like this, place another one, and then drop a black. So basically you're going, oops, sometimes that will happen. You have to be careful. You're basically going white, oops, white, black. And that's what you're just going to be doing all the way to, oops, the end of your loom. So, if you don't mind, now is where I'm going to go a little bit faster. You're going to be doing this all the way, not to the end though, and I'll show you why. Okay, so now when I dropped one black band, I'm going to just do one and then, oops, one more. Sorry. And the reason why I'm not going all the way to the very end is because this bracelet is different and it makes a lot of a bigger bracelet. But if you are maybe like an adult, you might want to go to the very end. But if you're just a, a regular kid, then you might want to go like just over here. So like I said, you're, go you're going to just to do it like regular and just put two ba bands, white. And then you're going to turn your loom around. And this is where you start the looping. So you're go it's basically a single chain. So you're going to go in in here, push back this white band, and grab this white band, and loop it to the pen where it came from. Now, you're never going to use the black bands. They're just going to stay there and pretend they're not there. And then you're just going to go in, and then loop. In, and loop. So you're never going to touch the black bands, and they might get twisted like this, but in the end, they're always just going to turn out like the other ones. So just loop it all the way to the very end like you would for a single chain, because it basically is a single chain with hoops in it. So I'm going to just go a little bit faster.
Okay. So like I said, you go all the way to the very end of your loom. And then, so you can just create a slip knot. So, um, there's lots of ways that you can do this. You can um, just take the bottom band uh, down here and just drop it. Or you can hold this and take it off your loom. Or you can do it from this end. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to grab the bot the very, very bottom band and pick it up and drop it and pull it. So I'm going to be taking it off from this side. But it doesn't matter which side you take it off from. You're just going to kind of want to wiggle it until you can just eventually pick it up and you can rip it off. But... It's up to you how you want to do it. <sighs> Sorry. This bracelet is, is somewhat hard to get off. Usually you can just rip bracelets right off, but with this one it's a little bit more different. Okay? And then there's your bracelet. And so I just... I'm going to take, sorry, one S clip or C clip and just going to take it and S clip it. And there you go. There's your bracelet. And thank you for watching this video. And if you, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe for more weekly videos. Thank you. Bye.